takes you near the Detroit Superior Bridge, you may notice it's undergoing some changes. And part of the redesign will hopefully make it safer for bike riders. News 5's Lauren Wilson explains how a new substance being laid on that bridge works. It might look like paint, but when you hold it in your hand, it actually feels like pieces of salt. But turns out it's neither. It's a substance you probably wouldn't think of, and it will help keep bikers like Maurice Mallard secure and safe. I'll be riding my bike everywhere. I coast all through downtown. Whether to the store or just to sit by the lake, he bikes across the Detroit Superior Bridge almost daily. It's an intersection. Like, sometimes people speed. When they speed fast, it'll, like, blow you. You know what I'm saying? When you're on your bike. But that's about to change. The purpose of it is to really uh, make the bike lane more visible to motorists. Thanks to this, the green paint-like substance that's actually an adhesive made from recycled glass. We're really excited about it. Working like sandpaper, it gives bikes better traction, especially in bad weather. The substance hasn't been used before in Cleveland and is part of a bigger improvements on the bridge. Yeah, so the, all the improvements on this bridge uh, from the city of Cleveland we've heard are costing them about $81,000. Money, Maurice says, it's worth every penny. It will help out a lot. The bike plan also includes bollards or cement barriers that will go right along the path here to protect bikers from oncoming traffic. Completion is expected by 2018. Lauren Wilson, News 5. Keeping it safe. Well, that's our time. Thanks so much for joining us.